Davy, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. There is Leon Walt. He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. That's one small step for man. Good morning, Vietnam! Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Welcome to the Howdy Boomers show on the YouTube channel. This is a daily broadcast by Baby Boomers for Baby Boomers. Join the peanut gallery, become an official member of HowdyBoomy.com, where there's great gifts and ideas for the baby boomer generation. And we're going to be talking daily about things that affect everyday life. Like, we're going to be driving gas cars rather than worried about charging someplace to take half of our life getting there. We're going to be cooking with gas rather than whatever the woke generation wants us to cook with. Uh, we're going to be worried about climate change, but unlike John Kerry, who looks like the love child between Secretariat and Jerry Seinfeld, we're going to be letting Mother Nature take care of that. We're going to go back to the days when the good guys were the cops, the bad guys were the criminals. We're going back to the days when if you were born with a penis, you were male. If you were born with a vagina, you were female. Every day we're going to be broadcasting ideas that's going to help make America great again, again. And we're going to be bringing everybody to the forefront to remember what made this country great. In the days of the old laugh-in, every day we're going to sock it to them. Sock it to me? <laughs> Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the people who are trying to go see the Titanic are having a great day. Uh, I guess, technically, uh, as of now, their oxygen has run out, so... You know the worst is probably true, and I am just hoping that uh, they didn't suffer. It's amazing because if you go back, Apollo 13, where <clears throat> a panel blew out on the uh, main space capsule, causing uh, a tragedy out in outer space that the astronauts had to climb into the moon, lunar module in order to survive and got back due to the tremendous work of the ground crew and everything that happened in the Kennedy Space Center, but they were able to rescue three astronauts from death, certain death, uh, because of their knowledge and their way they went about knowing outer space, what the limits were, what the limits could have been unknowns, they got it under control, they were able to do it in outer space. Underwater, our own planet, we have very, very little to go on. We know the pressure is tremendous down there, and it's water, you're not breathing. Like they say, if God wanted you to do that, he'd make you a fish, but that's what happens. <clears throat> and to go down there, I guess on the uh, statement that, or the release that you have to sign on a front page alone, the word death is mentioned three times. So that's got to be very, very tragic. <clears throat> and listening to a gentleman yesterday who has made many, 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 many deep sea trips salvaging. He was at the Titanic. He was at various other sites around the country, around the world and the uh, oceanic experiences. He said there's a lot of wires, if you notice, on that submarine or whatever you call it, submersible, just hanging out. And he said usually it takes six hours for that submersible to get down to the depth that the Titanic would be. And this thing lost communications with the main boat, the main crew, about an hour and 45 minutes into the, uh, into the voyage which he says seems to me to dictate that there was a breach. One of those wires, kind of, something happened, a hole where the wire comes through, a breach, where all of a sudden the uh, submersible was just inundated with water like coming out of a fire hose. He said there is a always a phone on board, a, a back battery-operated phone that they could use. That's, it's always there on every submersible. That wasn't even used, which means that he might be right where that thing would just 
cracked open, boom, done, sank to the bottom, and maybe they'll find it, maybe they won't, but it shows you our own planet, what little we know about the ocean compared to what they did with Apollo 13 in outer space a quarter million miles away. So God bless those people. Have mercy on their souls. I hope they're at peace right now. And I hope if they did go, which they probably is, they did, um, it was instantaneous, not much pain, rather than drip, 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 freezing, running out of oxygen. There is a God. Adam Schiff was censured by the House of Representatives. He thumbed their nose at him. What a shock. All the evidence that came out about this Durham report, how shabby the FBI is, how political the FBI is, there is a deep state. There is a deep state. Democrats can do no wrong. You don't think so? Take a look at Hunter Biden. Democrats can do no wrong. And Adam Schiff says now he's wearing this censure with a, as a badge of courage. And all the Democratic congressmen that were on this committee that were interviewing John Durham yesterday showed themselves to be real assholes. How can someone with his stature, very, very honest report, unleashed the furor of what the public knew that the FBI fixed everything, the CIA, the Justice Department. They went after Trump, period. They knew it was made up. Schiff knew it was made up. He lied. He lied and he lied. Now he's being censured. It's possible that he has to pay $16 million in the costs of what it was to do that Trump investigation to prove it to be hocus pocus. He's going to laugh at it. The Democrats are laughing at it. But I'm just wondering, he's running now for Dianne Feinstein's seat in the state of California. And I've got to ask the voters in the state of California, you want a piece of crap like this representing you in Washington? He's already a piece of crap as a congressman. Even more stature as a senator? Is this what California wants as representation? Is this what you settle for? Please, have some sanity. Make sure that you take care of business there and show him lying is not good enough. You can't do it. There is a deep state. If you go against what they are, you're going down. They're persecuting Catholics. They're persecuting anybody who wants to back Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or any, any Republican candidate. They're persecuting all of them. And they're using the Justice Department as their main tool. And the face of that is Adam Schiff, which is why we have the award every week to some real bozo, some real rectal cavity, and is named the Schiff Head of the Week. He can win it any week, every week, but uh, we can't do it all the time with him. But please, voters in California, come to your senses. You know, you get what you pay for. I was hoping we, we went to a function last night, baby boomers. Now, I'm 76 years old, and we went to a function, music of the 60s, there was food. There were about three to 400 people there. And people I recognized from 10, 15, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And my first uh, reaction was to take a look at him and say, geez, what the hell happened to them? Where did his hair go? Why is he walking over like that? You know, how, how many baby boomers have I seen in my life wearing red sneakers now? I don't understand that one at all. Wearing hats on backwards. I never did that. But I'm, I'm wondering, as the same people were looking at me, saying, what the hell happened to him? Where'd his hair go? It's amazing. Getting old brings out a lot of things. At least we're on the right side of the grass. Keep smiling. Have my own teeth. Keep my bodily functions sort of in working order. I hope you have a great day. I hope the day treats you well. It's prosperous. It's peaceful. You enjoy the family. We will see you tomorrow. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Go to HowdyBoomy.com for a great website for the boomers. And watch the Howdy Boomy show daily on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. Thank you. God bless America.